so you may be asking, well, what about the wind generator? It's not going to be a wind generator anymore. First off, you need to take this off. that much out of the way and this part really doesn't need to be an arbor anymore for a wind generator because it's not going to be a wind generator so instead of redoing this whole pulley system going to cut the attachment point for the blades off. So now, this is no longer a wind generator. It is, however, still a generator. And it's geared just about right for another project that I have already done, mostly done. But I need to change a few things on it to make this work. So let's just see what we can do with that. Oh, hello again, everybody. I'd say a lot of y'all recognize this. This is one of my old projects I started and uh, it kind of kind of got pushed off to the side and kind of has been there ever since. So I was kind of thinking, we'll get this one going again and I think this is kind of perfect for our little um, wind generator or the thing that we used for our wind generator because this has got a lot of torque when a lot of water is hitting these at a pretty good speed you get a lot of torque out of a big wheel like this because you got all this leverage and Figure with water at like something like eight pounds per gallon. That's a lot of weight pushing down on this side and spinning that generator. And also, like I said before, the wind doesn't blow around here all the time like it needs to with a wind generator. So I can tell it's out of balance, but I don't think it's that critical with that. Um, so since the wind generator is just not going to work around here, not reliably. Every now and then you get some charge from it, but I want this generator running all the time. I don't want it just running every now and then. The only way I can think of for that is to use our supply of water, which is plentiful, and just let the water drive it. So, what I've already tried to do is put the generator where the lawnmower uh, gearbox was right here at the same distance so that that belt tightens up right there and you can see when you pull it, it needs a little bit more weight on it there we go. So when you pull it, you can see this pulley is turning the other pulley, which is turning the generator.
but it really doesn't turn near as fast as the wind generator used to and I get about eight volts out of it let's see at this speed I'm getting about eight volts out of that generator but we need more than that we need to be able to get like 15 to 20 volts out of it so we need this to spin faster my idea that I've got now and I just tacked this on because I wasn't sure if it would work so I just tacked it but my idea is to take the belt itself and we'll cut a groove on the inside of each one of these boards a little groove and since it's such a long belt it can go all the way around that wheel this is all the way around the paddles and everything and with this raised up if you put that pulley right in this area then you're going to have plenty of speed I have to make a cover of course that motor is waterproof but I'll still make a cover Let's give it a try, see how that works. Yeah. All right, so what all have we done here? Make sure. Yeah. As you can see, I had to do a little bit of modification. I had to cut a little bit of it off and get that a little closer in there. And I'm gonna have to figure my little linear actuator where it was sitting out in the rain I guess it kind of rusted up, so it's not working. I'll either have to make another one of those or figure out some other way to uh, tighten it. For right now, ratchet strap will work. And right here, the reason this is cut out is because this belt had to go behind this piece. So, yeah. And I oiled everything up real good, you can see. Right there. <laughs> Got oil all over the place. That's actually this chain lube stuff <laughs> I keep using that but what I've got is of course the generator there jumper cables hooked to it going to a meter down here you can see the jumper cables hooked to the meter and you can probably see that all right now I'm going to crank it you can see the wheel right here you can see how fast it's turning so Went over 20 there for a minute. I mean, it's kind of jumping all over the place, but like I said, it's kind of jumping all over the place, but it is getting. Uh, I saw 15, 16 volts. It even hit over 20 a couple of times there. Now what I've got to do is, let me show you how this is working. Okay, all it is, it's just wrapped around the wheel and it's going over these. There's a lot of slippage right in here. You can tell where it's been slipping there. Uh, but also, if I notch these out right here, just a little, 
to where the belt will fall down in them. I think actually that will be enough to make it grab. Because you got to imagine once this gets wet, and of course this is going to be getting wet because this is where the water hits, and you can see right now. If I try to take off too fast, it slips. So, yeah, there you go. A little bit of slippage. I can tighten it up more right here. And that'll keep it from doing that. But still, the more you tighten it, the more you tighten that up, the more friction you have. So I want to be able to have it as loose as possible and still have it grabbing. See what we can do. Okay, so now you can see it's going right into these gaps in the wood. And when I grab the wood and pull it quick, I can't really tell it from there, but the belt does not slip. Okay, so what are we getting now as far as charge goes? Let's just see. I saw like 17 a couple of times there. Let me okay, now everything's in the shot. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess I went over the voltage that the bulb can take. Just pop the bulb. So yeah, it puts out plenty. Since it puts out extra voltage over what you need, then it seems to me like if we get an MPPT charge controller, like a solar charge controller, but an MPPT, it will track the best charging point and it'll adjust the voltage so you'll get more power out of it than you will with just a regular charge controller. So we'll put an order in for one of those as soon as we can. And I think this thing is pretty much put together now. I uh, have to do something other than the ratchet strap later on, but for right now, I don't really care. Ratchet strap's okay. Next step is just to see how we can get some water to it. Anyway, yeah, I'd say uh, uh, actually getting the water to this uh, water wheel and whatever I'm going to do for a waterway to get the water down to it, that'll probably be in the next video. But for right now, hey, we've got a we've got a water wheel. <laughs> it will it will work. Um, it just has to have some water running over it. Shouldn't be too hard. I guess that's about all I'm going to do on this video. Appreciate everybody watching. See y'all on the next one.